and welcome back. As you saw in the last video, we are Liberty Ready. So uh, I'm pretty excited. I think we have uh, a good piece here. Uh, I try not to set goals for myself because that always seems to go poorly and I never meet them. But I'm gonna set some goals anyway. I'm hoping for like front of the B main, back of the A. I feel like that's a pretty realistic goal that we could uh, reach. Uh, last year I did make three of the A mains. So that was pretty cool. Uh, Brian, Kirk's brother is usually front of the B or in an A main. So I think somewhat realistic goal. Uh, hopefully I can uh, I can reach that. And with that being said, I'm going to do the big reveal on the cart now. I knew I said I would keep that a secret. All right, so here it is. Red number 19. The uh, graphics here are done in carbon fiber, pearl white, and flat black. And it turned out really, really well. I like it a lot. We got KPC on there, Keller Killer Cuts. And then, uh, of course, Ray 6 and Overdrive Designs. Kirk made all the graphics, obviously, and it looks really well. I really, really like the PBR, DBR on the black stripe down the side. I think that's nice. Uh, for those of you wondering, DBR and PBR is my wonderful uh, secret supporter, I guess. Uh, he's also my friend, uh, Mr. DBR himself, and then PBR is his son. He wanted both logos on there, and you know what? He's paying for this so he can have the whatever logos he wants on there. Uh, he's the one that hooked me up with the uh, Keller engine and the Keller Killer cuts and the clutch and, you know, everything. So he gets the logo. That's where the red came from. Uh, whenever he ran cards back in the day, he, he was red. He was a number 19. So the red and the 19 come from him. And then obviously the pearl white and the carbon fiber was kind of just like our idea. Uh, you can't really see the pearl very well in this light, but it looks good. It's a good looking cart. It's simple, nothing crazy, but I think it turned out really well. And uh, yeah, I guess that's the big reveal on the uh, the new look for uh, indoor racing here. We got my buddy Bill riding with us. Uh, long time friend that camped with us at uh, Knoxville out in Iowa for the Nationals. Uh, probably one of the best sprint car racers to come out of Canada. And he unfortunately uh, passed away from cancer not too long ago. So. He's going to be riding with us this indoor season, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully this cart runs as good as it looks. I said high, high hopes, I guess, for people like us, uh, front of the B, back of the A, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Damn it. No, I got it! Cameraman, can you unlock this door? Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so it is currently um, way, way too early, and we are going to head out to Liberty. They are racing today, and we're going to get on the road here at like 5 a.m. and get down there so we can get racing. So see you at the track.
Well, things are going okay. I'm gonna say they're going okay because uh, I haven't flipped it yet and the chain is staying on. So I guess overall an improvement from last year so far just because we're keeping it together and on all fours. But uh, we're a little slow, card's pretty tight. We've been fighting it all day. Uh, we're doing everything we can to try and make it better, but I'm I'm like 100% sure I'm in the B main today, but uh, that's okay. That's not a not that big of a deal. Uh, the amount of money they're paying here and the uh, quality of the carts that are here, it, it's a long shot for someone like me to make the A main anyway. So uh, I'm not disappointed. I'm having a good time. We're, we're getting the cart better slowly, but surely it's just we're fighting it being tight. Uh, the track's different than what it was uh, last year. They rebuilt it and they didn't rebuild it the same. So it, we're, we're learning it. We're trying to figure it out. Uh, the setup from last year definitely didn't work, but uh, we're getting there and uh, we'll come back to tomorrow and uh, try again and hopefully be better. I'm gonna say tonight was excess. Uh, chain stayed on, carts in one piece. I didn't flip it. Uh, we moved forward in the B. Uh, I was up to third at one point, and there at the end, I ran ran the guy in third back down. So uh, I'd call this a success. Uh, we learned a lot, and we we know what to do for tomorrow to hopefully be better. So I'd say a solid uh, first night out for indoor season and second night ever on this cart. So not bad. Uh, they took 16 to the A and uh, 16th in the A ran a 10-0, and I ran a 10-1. So it was, I mean. The times are insanely close and i mean you know one little mistake or what anything will drop you from from the a to the b and we just weren't there cart was uh cart was too tight all night 
even in the B it was a little tight there till the end whenever the tires got some heat in them so I think it came down to tires just being too cold and too hard and uh, we have an idea on what we need to do tomorrow and uh, I think it'll go well so yeah tomorrow will be a completely different video so I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, stay tuned for Saturdays.